The Country Women's Initiative Awards press conference was held at the Four Seasons Westcliff Johannesburg in South Africa and Nome TV was there. Three women finalists from the Sub-Saharan Africa were invited to come and meet the media. Katia, in partnership with Women's Forum, Insid Business School and McKenzie and Company, announced the three finalists will all be going to France in October 2015 to attend the Gala Award Ceremony. Chinwe Ohajiruka from Nigeria introduced an innovative plan to address the housing, energy and water crisis in Africa. Susana Marrera from Mozambique has been instrumental in getting retailers in rural and semi-urban communities to use Mawaza, a mobile commerce platform. Tato Khatlanya from South Africa and her team have developed solar power school bags, enabling school children to study at night and make them more visible while walking to school. But what exactly is the significance of the Cartier Women's Initiative Awards? The Cartier Women's Initiative Awards for women in Africa is a chance to come out from under the rubble and shine. It's an opportunity to have your voice heard from an international platform. It's an opportunity to attract funding. Most importantly, it's an opportunity to attract partnerships. Because when you have partners, you can do so much more. There's a Bible saying that one will chase a thousand, but two will put 10,000 to flight. Think about when you have several partners, what you can achieve. It's pretty amazing. To me, the Cartier Women's Initiative Awards actually mean an opportunity to be part of something bigger than I even think possible. Um, because not only is it myself, but it's actually engaging with other women from around the world. I mean, you look at us as the, the three finalists for Sub-Saharan Africa. There's still other finalists for, for Asia Pacific. So a global network of women that are actually doing amazing work and work that matters. So that's what it presents to me more than actually just it being a business competition. As an entrepreneur, especially an early stage entrepreneur, you find yourself in a position where you don't really have that support. So you want to be able to liaise with other like-minded entrepreneurs who are going through the same challenges that you are going through. I believe that African women face the hardest challenges in the entire world of being entrepreneurship. We don't have access to capital and we don't have access to mentoring and coaching. So it's very difficult. And African women often remain small time entrepreneurs because we don't have the opportunity. And that's what the Cartier Women's Initiative Awards has done. I think the win would just kind of validate what we're doing as a business and say, you know, hey, actually, we are a force to be reckoned with. You know, we can actually go to the likes of Paris, you know, present a solid case to a jury of, of, of business people and, and convince them that we are worth backing and not just by mouth, but actually financially and saying they trust us to take the money and, and invest it back into, into the business and, you know, plant a seed at the end of the day that is going to one day bear, bear quite a lot of fruit. Women in Africa really need to work together and do things together to make it happen for themselves. It's not just about one entrepreneur, but it's about several like-minded entrepreneurs who are doing amazing things. And, you know, we just celebrated the three 2015 finalists from Sub-Saharan Africa today, just doing bold, innovative and inspiring things that affect their communities positively and create great social impact. And the Cartier Awards has certainly been a catalyst in showcasing us to the world and helping us to expand our vision and impact. Nomad TV wishes all finalists much success in celebrating Africa, the world's richest continent.